Haleluya. Haleluya. Uh, muzukuri ejo tukuri mashimwa komeye. Yesterday we spent all our day we were in uh, Thanksgiving. Ah, tukumvise bwamya bwa mushiki wacu Joli. As we were hearing the testimonies of our sister Joli. Buri ya tujya tumva bavuga muri Bibiliya ngo Yesu yakijije abantu. We normally hear in the Bible says that Jesus healed Yesu yakije mugore rumaze giye mubongo Jesus healed the woman that was sick Ngo bintu bya byaramushizeho And things everything has finished she spent everything Yesu yakije mugore Yesterday when we heard the testimony Muzo kuri twahege ibintu byinshi cyane We learned a lot of things Ah buri anawe nabonye ari smart cyane kugaragaza ibyimana yakoze I saw that she was very smart to show everything that God has done for Buri azira stage zose nawe ngiye ku in all the stages as she spent money everything that she said umuryango warakwanye watanga amafaranga kugeza gihe amafaranga atanabonekera birumvikana are we together ah rinda umutima wawe guide your heart kuruta ibindi byose birindwa more than anything that you can guide kuko ari ubuzima bwingo bikomoka because everything about life flows from it iyo tuvuga umutima when we talk about your heart ntabwo ari umutima physique it's not the physical heart uyu mutima udufasha ah gute utanga amaraso mu mubiri the heart that gives blood in our body uyu mutima woreza amaraso mu bwonko mu maguru na handi the heart that provide blood in our veins ntabwo ari umutima tubwiye kuvuga that's not the heart that we're going to speak ah umutima bibiri tubwira ah the heart that the bible speaks utandukanye kure n'uyu mutima it is way far from this heart amen amen umuntu agizwe n'ibintu bitatu a person have three things agizwe n'uyu mubiri you have a physical hari uyu muka duhumeka and the breath that we breathe hakaba ne bugingo and there is a life ah bibiri yaje tubwira rero kurinda what the bible says to guide ira tubwira kurinda bwa bugingo it means to guide the life no muka and the soul ibyo bibiri those two things nibyo bigize umutima bibiri yifuka those are the things that your heart depends kandi biratandukanye and they are two different biratandukanye they are very different Impamvu bitandukanye The reason why they are different Bibiliya iziba clear ikabitandukanya neza The Bible is clear about it Mu bahe burayo Bibiliya yatubwira mu bahe burayo The Bible says in Hebrew Yano bahe burayo Bibiliya yatubwira ngo kuko ijambo ry'Imana rikomeye The Bible says because the word of God is great Rifite imbaraga It has a power Ndese ngo rifite nubugi And it has it is sharp Ribasha no guhingukanya ligatandukanya umwuka nubugi And it can divide the soul and the life Urufa kwa ibintu bibiri bitandukanye You see it's two different things Amen Amen Haleluya Amina Ibiri ibintu bibiri rero nzo bibiri itubwira nzo yita umutima These two things are the one the Bible says about that depend with uh, the heart depends on Ubugingo The life numwuka and the soul Niki rero bita umutima gikubiye muri ayo magambo ko arabira ubugingo numutima What is that is in the heart or in the life Bibiri itubwira ngo turinde turinde umutima wacu when the bible says guide your heart it means it's talking about four things it is saying that guide your characters icyo bita imiterere or the character imiterere ubundi niki what is characters when they say this person is is what does that mean iyo bavuga ngo uyu muntu agira ubuntu when they say this person is a nice person uyu muntu ni nyangamugayo this person is a very noble person uyu muga uyu muntu azabesha or this person is a liar uyu muntu ntabwo ari nyangamugayo this person is not honest iyo ni imiterere y'umuntu those are the characters rero bibiri tubwira ngo turinde umutima wacu so when the bible tells us to guide our heart uyu mutima bibiri tubwira because the heart that the bible says umeze nk'uyu mutima wundi it is the kind of heart kuko uyu mutima physique but because of the, our physical heart ugira izumba it has rooms buri ubaje abaganga ba modestari bakubwira if you ask doctors like modest they know uyu mutima ugira izumba hafi that our heart has about four rooms the, the heart that the bible is mentioning it has rooms as well if the bible is telling you to guard your heart with that one room the second your emotion things that they call emotion when they say emotion your emotions 
Is there a happiness? Are you sure your emotions? When you are sad or mad? You sure your emotions? When you are sad or when you face those are emotions. So in every and what the there is a room of emotions. Amen. 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 Third room is your thoughts. Those the main point. Your thinking, your knowledge. That's another room. A fourth one. It is your conscience. That's another room. You can add more. So when the Bible says, guard your heart, he means guard your character. Guard your, your emotions. Guard your heart. Your thoughts. Guard your conscience. Because in there, that's where life comes from. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 The reason of this proverb, there are people that explain, they said it's because we can add knowledge to our knowledge. So he can uh, correct us. Amen. Amen. A heart is a very important thing. Where we read in Jeremiah, Jeremiah says a heart, it says it is deceitful. It is more deceitful than anything else. And it is sick. He does not even believe that it's going and to be healed. And he said, who can know this heart? Who can know this heart? And he says, only God can understand it. Only God can understand it. Why did Jeremiah say this? Jeremiah was a prophet just like everybody else. And he had prophecies in different things. The Bible says Jeremiah tried to start to prophesy when they were in Jerusalem. No, and even he prophesies when they were in a slave. Why he was prophesying? He was prophesying about the how the church is going to be destroyed. And how uh, Jerusalem is going to be destroyed. Because of one reason. Because he was telling them to repent. Repent. He got to the point, Jeremiah. He went in isolation. Because of the problem of their relatives. They had a religious that was not a good religion. There were people of religion. Religious kills. Religious uh, get you a because, uh, make you a disable. For him to tell them to go in the So that is deep in your heart. Where you can humble yourself in and repent. And accept that God can understand you. Amen. Amen. That's why he told them the heart of a human being it is more deceitful more than anything. Hallelujah. Amen. And he said, This heart is sick. He does not even believe that it's going to be healed. He said, This heart. This heart is sick. This heart is sick. This, this heart is sick. This heart is sick. Of this heart is sick. This heart is sick. Drunker. This sick is this heart is sick. And say, who can understand it? I'm going to show him everything. He got to the point they got in the house where there was a darkness. When they reached that house, it was so dark. He saw somebody in the gate. A gate. A gate that is uh, with a metal gate. And he saw that person with the hand on his cheek in a very deep sorrow with a deep sorrow 
And the, the man asked the other man, he said, what about this person? What is going on with that person? And this is what he said. He said, ask him yourself. And he said, why are you here? And the person when they want to answer, they said, he said, I am the person that I was not before. He said, I am the one that I was not before. And then he turned around to the other man and said, what does that mean? He said, go ahead and ask him. He said, what, is, what does that mean? And he said, I used to think that I'm a Christian and I'm going to heaven. Many people used to know that I'm right. I used to think that I'm a Christian and I'm going to heaven. And many people knew that. And he said, then what happened? Then what changed? He changed. He said, I found myself in this gate. I found myself in this gate. I cannot even leave it. And I am not able. And he tried to understand. He said, what does that mean? And he said, go ahead and ask him again. And he said, why is the reason why you are in this gate? And he said, there are men five reasons. He said, first thing, it is because I was not watchful. Second, I did not guide my heart. Third, he said, I kicked away the Holy Spirit and he left. Fourth, I called Satan and he came and lived in me. And fifth, I did not, I was not easy in me, in myself. I hold on my heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the heart gets sick, for it to get healed, it no, is no, very hard. I, 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 that story amazed me. I read it a long time ago. No, no, no. And then the man turned around and said, He said, Can he leave that gate? And he said, Go ask him again. And then he asked him, He said, Do you think you can leave that gate? He said, it, no, it may be impossible. It may be impossible because of many things that he mentioned. And he said, It is because that I understand the righteousness of God and, and only the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amina. Hallelujah. 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 Guide our heart more than anything else you can guide. Hmm? If we guide our hearts, we're going to guide it to protect you from many sickness. Uh, the, 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 uh, the sickness that our the Bible mentioned. And most amazing thing, when this heart gets sick, that's where Jesus wants to remain. The Bible says, our heart, our heart, that the one that makes us have the willing of God in our, in our life. So if your heart is sick, you may not know the plan of God on your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Guide our heart. Because everything about life comes from it. Hallelujah. 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 The heart that is in sorrow. There is, a, there is a heart that does not have a gate around it. The heart has been a highway to go. A heart that receives anything. Because among the things that you receive, those are the things that make you sick. Amen. Amina. That's the heart that is sick. A heart that does not have a gate. A heart that does not have a fence. Anything comes and goes in it. That heart is sick. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A heart that is in sorrow. A heart that is always in sorrow. A heart that cannot uh, praise God accordingly. You always bring what God has not done. And you always sad because of what God has not done yet. And you forget about what he has done. That kind of heart is sick. A heart that is that is a strong or that is like a rock. That kind of heart is sick. A heart that is like a rock is a heart that is untouchable. When you go to church and they start present worship. And Diana said, Oh, my heart, praise the Lord. And you feel there's something. You, you don't even feel anything. You don't even feel nothing touching your heart. We went in Gisirimba. And Pastor said to say, Let's repeat. And nothing moves you. We go into announcements. And the corner will tell us everything about the church. And nothing touches you. And the pastors will come and preach. And nothing moves you. That heart is sick. The heart that is untouchable. Hallelujah. 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 Guide our hearts. Because everything from life, if you don't guide your heart, many sickness will come in. It. And those kind of sickness, wherever they're going to take you, it is into death. Hallelujah. 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 The way that your the, the heart is taking you, it is into death. Heart is deceitful. It will tell you lies. It will tell you that you are right when you are not right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And your thoughts will lie to you. We tell you lies. And you will think that you are right when you are not right. If you don't guide it, if you don't guide it, it will lie to you. Joyce Mayer, Joyce Mayer there is a book that he wrote, she wrote about the fight in our thoughts. She said she wrote about the fight in our thoughts. He, she says she prayed and said, God revealed to me so the reason why the Israelites when they went and they were in the wildness the reason why they went for 40 years where it was only a few days a journey and when God revealed to her he said the reason why that happened it is because they had the wildness thoughts the wildness thoughts he said the, the, the desert starts it is the kind of uh, thought that the always complains it is the kind of thought that does not be patient it is the kind of uh, thought that does not accept when they are in fault it is the kind of thought that does not have faith it is the kind of heart from the, the desert Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he said, those kind of thoughts, they cannot take you anywhere. You will remain in the same place. You will remain in the same place. One year will come and pass. A second year will come, you will remain in the church. Five years in the church. And six years in the church. And when nothing will change, you will remain the same person. It is because you have a wordness thought. 
it is because you did not guide your heart and the thoughts it is the one that protect the heart that the bible says if you don't protect your heart you will have the wildness thoughts and the heart the, the thoughts will just remain put you remain in the same place you will remain the same person nothing going nothing going up or down you will remain the same person and the year will come and pass you will re, you will be a christian of religious you will be a pastor of religious you will be a de, you will be a deacon of religious you will be in religious because you do not guard your heart hallelujah 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 guide our heart do not let your heart lie to you it lies if you don't guide it it will lie to you you will have a thought of just wandering around you will have thoughts of wandering around yesterday pastor said he says god is god knows he knows even more than what we imagine means that god knows our thoughts also your thoughts your imagination know that there is you if you you can accept it and guide your thoughts hallelujah hallelujah God is in all of our thoughts. Amen. Amen. We are about to finish. Let me ask you to stand up so we can pray. Uh, the only thing that we make us see God, the only thing that we make us get closer to God, it is not just to dance. It is not only to preach. It is no more prayers. It is that we just tell our heart to humble themselves. To just to encourage our heart to be right or to, to be cleansed. To encourage our heart to be cleansed then singing is sitting by and telling your heart to be cleansed people that are sick get healed preaching and encouraging your heart to be cleansed the word gets into people's hearts to pray while you're telling your heart to be cleansed people get, get, get blessed and people get healed Let's encourage our heart to humble themselves. The Bible says in Luke uh, 18, a proverb of this Pharisee that was, the Bible says two men went to pray. One was a Pharisee and another one was a uh, tax collector and they went to pray when they went out closer to church to where they gathered and uh, the first one said I thank God that I am not like everybody else here I thank God that I am not a thief I am not this or that and mostly and I thank God that I am not like this tax collector and he said myself I fast twice a week. Second, I give my tight accordingly. And then he finished. The tax collector came and he said he was not even afraid to, to get there. He could even open his eyes to look up in heaven. And he started touching his heart. And he said, God, forgive me, I'm a sinner. God, forgive me, I'm a sinner. My heart is sick. My heart is have hatred. My heart have this. My heart is sick, is sick. God, please help me. And after that, Jesus said, this tax collector has been conquered, has been accepted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah many things may not make you be accepted many things may not make you accepted the only thing that can make you accepted 
it is to encourage your heart to humble itself it is to tell your heart to be cleansed that's the only key that to see god that's the only key to see god we're going to pray the bible says if our heart does not condemn us we will come in his presence if our heart does not condemn us we will come and work his work if our heart does not condemn us we will come and dance accordingly if our heart does not condemn us we will stand up and say his good news if our heart does not condemn us we are going to serve as a deacon accordingly if our heart does not condemn us we are going to sing accordingly hallelujah hallelujah ask your heart see, see how many sickness has entered and then be just like the tax collector if you want to be accepted do not be like that, that other man do not, uh, not that you don't know nothing let's be like tax collector and say God see our heart we bring our heart in your the singer said please look into my heart you're the only one that can understand it everything that is going on in it in the secret place in the secret place in the secret place, the secret place you're the one that knows it you're going to pray hallelujah uh, in a few minutes we're going to we're going to receive holy communion let's pray